Welcome to Sarajevo, Bosnia for Group K European Zone FIBA World Cup qualification between Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Czech Republic. We're at the Divorna Mirtha Delibasic Hall. And the families and the crowds are in here in their numbers at this fantastic arena, also known, known by the locals as Kendarika Hall. It's got a capacity of over 5,000. It's not quite full at the moment, but Bosnia are going to need every little bit of help they can to try and win this game. France have already played Finland and won. Russia have already beaten Bulgaria. So tonight, the Czech Republic can book their ticket to China with a win over Bosnia. The other two results today have fallen their way. And this is how Group K looks. France are at the top, Bosnia are at the bottom as the Czech Republic rejuvenated and invigorated by the inclusion of Satoransky along with Jan Vesely and Blake Schilb have been a real force and they had a massive win against Russia at home on Thursday. Bosnia lost by four in Finland so they desperately need a win. So now the crowd and the noise will get electric for you now. There's Josef Nurkic. It's been a massive inclusion. 20 points, nine rebounds in the loss on Friday. Kogovanovic. More big numbers for him and Zanan Musa, the young man who's just been drafted by the Brooklyn Nets in the NBA. After serving Sedavita so well. So he is the new superstar. And in 34 minutes against Finland, he had 15 points, 9 of 13 from the free throw line, 9 assists. As we pause for the national anthems, firstly of the Czech Republic and then Bosnia and Herzegovina. Beautifully respected there, national anthem, and now the hosts, a big moment for Bosnia and Herzegovina.
quite extraordinary emotion, fervour and respect here in Sarajevo in Bosnia and Herzegovina for this massive matchup. It could be now or never for Bosnia as they sit at the bottom. Bosnia and Herzegovina as they sit at the bottom of Group K. And as always, here's the referees. Thomas Chesovicius from Lithuania, Luis Castillo from Spain, and Janis Kalik. Also, three great teams. The teams on the floor playing the game, the referees and our table officials of the highest order. So as we warm up, there's some big guns on both sides. Some really big characters, big players. Bosnia and Kursovina are a very young team. Average age only 24, ranging from 19 years old, Musa, up to 32 years old. Czech Republic really buoyed by the inclusion of Vasily, who hasn't played for the national team. For a number of years now and here is a number number 20 Kuric is being presented Wonderful moment, and that's centre court there. Now the Mirza Delebasic Hall. So here are the Czech Republic squad. The players to look out for, Thomas Sataransky, massive game in the win against Russia, and he hit the, he hit the layout with a few seconds to go. Jan Vesely, Blake Schill, but some other big, big performances, especially Jeremy Boasik, had a huge game against Russia. And here's the starting fives. Hubant, Satoransky, Boshik, Jan Vesely and Martin Kriz getting a start. Kriz play, could have a big role then as a starter. Just two points, but six rebounds. And across to the host, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Well, Nurkic and Zanan Musa. They lead this team. But other good, good performances in the loss against Finland was Almir Hasandic and Kukanovic. And there is the first five. Nurkic, Atic, Kukanovic, Musa and Lazic will start the game for Bosnia and Herzegovina, who are in desperate need of a win here tonight. And as, as I say, Czech Republic can book their ticket to the World Cup Finals with a win on the road here in Sarajevo. And we're going to watch it all unfold before our eyes here on live, livebasketball.tv. Let's listen to Ronan Gisberg. He's the head coach, Israeli. A 54-year-old Israeli. And he coached this group of players in Eurobasket 15, 2015 when they come seventh. It's just a massive inclusion having Vesely. Such stature and energy for this team. And the coach for Bosnia, Yasmin Resper, this repeats, this is a really interesting story. He's the in, potentially the interim boss. He's doing this for no fee. He came calling as the previous coach for Bosnia and Herzegovina is ill. So he may be here longer than the two games. And he's a very experienced coach, having won cups and leagues in Croatia, Italy and Turkey. And it's in the family, his son Dino is coaching at Sedevita, Zagreb. So passing on his knowledge to his son as well. And he also coached the Croatian national team between, who we're going to be watching tomorrow night, between uh, 05, 09 and 12 and 14. So, very well respected man in this part of the world. And we have tip-off between Vesely and Nurkic. 
And there's a whistle. Sataransky, that's going to be a really good matchup with Bosnia Herzegovina trying to stop him. Vasily steps out, hands off to Sataransky. And Vasily just there to pick up the pieces. Once Sataransky had dropped the ball, such a big one two punch. And then all the other players can fit in, play their roles with the, those two stars leading with Shilb. And such a much balance, much better balance to the team. So can Bosnia and Herzegovina get on the score sheet as Chris picks up his first foul? Nurkic. We've got Zanin Musa in number 13 and he's turned it over. We've got four turnovers against Finland and he's averaging three turnovers for these qualifiers in the five games he's played and there was some contact from behind and the question was asked to the ref but nothing doing and Bosnia Herzegovina nice pass in sight but stolen away that was great defense Sataransky Eyes up all the time, Huben. The ball's nearly loose, but he steps through. Nurkic with another rebound. Nine rebounds on Friday night. And good finish, Edin Atic. Left-hand finish. He had eight points in a lot of minutes, 30 minutes on Friday, so he's had a good start on Thursday, excuse me. Sadaransky is good for two. Nice job by Thomas Sadaransky. It's been an ever present for Czech Republic in the Eurobaskets and the Olympic qualifying tournament in 2016. And now he's at the free throw line for a three point play and Czech Republic are exactly where they want to be. They've had a decent start and they lead this Massive game in Group K on the road in Sarajevo. Nurkic turns. Both the Bosnian stars are so young. Musa at 19. Nurkic just a couple of years older than that. Oh, good defense, pokes away. And in the open floor is Elamin Kekanovic. Unselfish play by Musa. Up fake by Harasic. They're right out on him after his heroics against Russia. Five threes he knocked down that night. And they've just a nice fake though. And Atic couldn't control his closeout. Sataransky, as easy as you like, the defence just backed off him. And he just knocked down the floater. Atic pulls up for three, and that's good. Game's tied at seven. Atic up to five points. We've got a good one here. In Sarajevo, Nurkic with another rip down rebound. Musa running the opposite lane. Or well, the opposite wing. Kikanovic fakes outside. It's going to be a tough move. Good job there inside. Ball's loose. Good job by Chris. Doing exactly what his coach would want to do. Loads of energy. Pick up the loose pieces, the loose balls. Penetrate, kick. 
And just short, but good rebound by Ruben. Nurkic, first foul, the 24-year-old. Got it. They've just got to grab that rebound as it comes off the ring. But Atic with a nice looking stroke there. Other players have got to step up. Really make it difficult for the Czech Republic to get into any sort of rhythm. Sadoransky, nice play, nice screen action, and a beautiful shot by the Ruben. Wojciech Ruben. Carrying on his nice play. 17 minutes on Thursday night. And the win over Russia. Uh, Musa going into a crowd of Czech Republic defence, defensive players, and picks up the foul. A young talent. It's in the same draft this year as Luka Doncic. He's averaging 61.1% free throw shooting. There's 9 of 13 on Thursday, and he doesn't knock those down. Got to make their free throws. Shots up. Bercic. He is off and running again. The lefty, number 17. And Musa again in a crowd, that's a tough shot. And now the Czech Republic are running. And a left-handed slam by Martin Kriz. A role player. Playing a big role, and that's a super little drop-off by Bojic. Only flat player back was Alexander Lazic. Atic for three. He's off. Rebound. Here comes Sadoransky in the open floor chooses to bring it out and I think one more score we might see a timeout shot fake pull up Haruben tough shot there's Musa Nurkic strong but off balance team rebounding Sadoransky Haruben Boasik they're getting right out onto him And good sportsmanship yet again. Vesely and Atic there. But it was a foul, no doubt. And it is a timeout here in Sarajevo. Hope you're enjoying all the action here in the FIBA World Cup qualifiers. Dženane, rekli smo da ne može biti šot za tre poena. Rekli smo da si odgovora za to za šot. U redu, prema tome hoću da mi jače da se pripremi. Juka govori za blok malo ranije da mogu zajedno da idu sa njim. U redu, istrčati gore. Ne ulazite... Wonderful scenes here. At the Merza Delibasic Hall in Sarajevo and Coach Ginsberg has got to be happy with the team start on the road after the massive win against Russia on Thursday. He doesn't want any letdown, carry on playing the same way. And as we're seeing through these qualifiers and the storylines, players are stepping forward. Chris has had a good start. It takes the pressure off the likes of Sadoransky and Vasily to have to keep delivering every every offensive play let's share the ball and look at the czech republic supporters fantastic effort to give us wonderful atmosphere at this venue as there has been all around the world during this qualifying window chris stepping out and knocking it down here is martin chris Super penetrating kick as well. And that was a poor pass. They run out of court there, literally. Lazic, this is a big moment in the game already. 
And Vasily just long up that free throw line jump shot attempt. And Musa, he's so young and such a big career ahead of him. He's just got to take care of the basketball and just get to the hoop. How about that? Just hesitate, freeze the defense and finish. No problems for young Musa. Vesely, high screen for Sadaransky. Oh, wonderful pass and a slam dunk. This is my house, Vessel is saying. Those two together are a wonderful one-two punch. Coach Ginsburg must be happy to have those two and Shilb operating together. And Shilb not on the floor at the moment, so Shilb can come in. He's just waiting right on cue to come in on the side and he can just play a sixth man role. Coach, Coach Rapesa and Coach Ginsberg directing their, their talented outfits, but that man there has just got to play tough tonight, play smart. He's going to have to grow up before our eyes, as he has done the last couple of years. And wonderful move by the other young gun on this Bosnia team. Nurkic, when he gets deep, Inside the key, he's unstoppable. That's a wonderful move by the Portland Trailblazers, big man. It was 10 of 11 free throws against... in the loss against Finland on Thursday night. And the shoot shot 64% over the long NBA season for the Trailblazers, so let's see how he goes here. These are big free throws already. And he knocks that down with a plomb. Now some pressure up the floor, and they've just backed off as Shilb, another experienced player for the Czech Republic. Nice job by Nurkic. Part moving without the ball. Nice job by Chris. He's playing really loose, really smart, heads up play. And Coach Rapesa is already not happy with some of these calls. He's in conversation, animated conversation with the refs. But the Bosnian players, Bosnian Herzegovinian players, they, they can't be talking to the refs. They've just got to be focused on getting this job done. Desperately in need of a win. Otherwise, they remo remain rooted to the bottom of Group K. Is missing, missing the second there. It's only 27.8 percent free throws shooter in this competition. Nurkic, wonderful move. That's more like it from the dynamic duo of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Musa to Nurkic, and a quick, decisive move. No help could come for that. Shield just pulling up from the free throw line and knocking it down. A smooth rhythm. Making an immediate impact, Shilp. Nursic. Nurkic. Just knocking down the long two. He's up to seven points. Putting together some good numbers already. As we approach two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Pavel. Prumpla. Oh, nice kick out by Shilp. Three pointers just long. And now Musa can run. Good patience, but they can't get it to finish. Lazic just couldn't get it done there. And Shield with the Czech Republic team. Quick up the other end. Sadaransky, Pumpala. Inside that. So number 12, Balvin, who was another hero 
from the win against Russia. But he's thrown it away, and the crowd here in Sarajevo, the Sarajevo just turning up and ramping up the noise. Uh, Shub almost with a turnover. That was a sloppy pass again from Musa. He's got to take care of the ball. And Czech Republic put pressure up the floor, not a bad idea. But now Nurkic is one-on-one -on -one with a wonderful spin move. Not much Balvin could do about that. And the crowd just into this one. They know the importance of it for their heroes, their young heroes. He's got a lot, great touch. It's seven foot. Just a huge, huge player and fulfilling his potential in the NBA. Patrick Alda. In the game, Czech Republic. Pumpera and time running out and it's a travel. Nice job by Bosnia Herzegovina. They're going to have to do it on the defensive end. It's not going to always look pretty. They've got to get down and dirty and do their best to force some mistakes out of Czech Republic. And they did that. Well played, Hasandic. Three turnovers now for a Czech Republic. Four for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Nurkic steps through. They just didn't have the elevation there. Just a bit off balance. Serena. Oh, nice crossover. But well played. Alda. Vasily's in with this group. Oh, big time block, not in my house, says Yusef Nurkic, and he brings the ball up the floor as well. Multi-talented, these young players, and he's going to shoot the three. But Vasily, multi-talented player himself. Sataransky getting... A break here right at the end of the fourth quarter. Schilb, he's made a shot from there already, just misses that one. And now there's still time, there's plenty of time for Bosnia to get a good shot up. And now Czech Republic can finish with a flourish. And they just can't get it to go. So at the end of the first quarter in Sarajevo, it's 18 to Bosnia Herzegovina. 22 to the Czech Republic. So welcome back to Sarajevo, to the Skenderika Hall, as it is lovingly known. And the crowd are getting a good, a good game of basketball here. But of course, the Bosnian Herzegovina crowd want a desperate to see a, a win here, which will get them to three and five and put them on the same win loss as Bulgaria, who lost earlier today to Russia, in Russia. And that was Vasily just cleaning up early on in that quarter. And that's Nurkic showing up. Anything you can do, Jan, I can do as well. And Shilp just coming on.
uh, welcome back to Sarajevo. As I was saying, Shil just coming in and doing a nice, calm job, controlling the tempo of the game. Czech Republic leading by four. And this is big game for Bosnia. They're ranked 43 in the world. FIBA rankings and Czech Republic at 24. And Czech Republic on the verge with a win here of qualifying for the World Cup finals in China, which will be a fantastic effort. But with the inclusion, if you like, of the big three playing together, Shilb, Vasily and Satoransky, it's something that they would have been inspecting as Musa takes it strong to the basket. He's just got to pick his moments. He's young and he's raw and he's very talented. He's just trying to get all that package together, knowing when to be quick, when to slow down, when to make that pass. But that will all come with experience. Step back, shot is off, but offensive rebound as Rabic, Adam Rabic, commits a foul. I think Alder might have just had a hand on him, which caused it to fall off balance, but the refs didn't see all that. So Serena. So inbound for the Czech Republic. Just a two-point lead now. Vasily. Serena. Goes left. Still left. Good job. Good help. And they've missed the rebound. And popped back in by number six, Pavel Pumpfla. Role players are do, playing a big role in this game for the Czech Republic. Nice penetrating kick. Shots up. That's way off by, by Vrabic. A wonderful pass ahead. Wonderful one-handed pass, half the length of the court. And Milosevic with the foul. Perfect for Alda. Shield would know he's a lefty. That's where he wants to finish, and it was right on the money. And the Czech Republic are very dangerous. They're all working for each other. And they got a six-point lead after that heads-up assist by Blake Shield. Now they're missing the free throw there. 81.3% free throw shooter. So he won't be he shouldn't be missing many more. There's Musa. Tough shot, but he gets fouled. They're going left shooting right and Alda was the nearest Czech player to him. Nine of 13 free throws against Finland on Thursday night. 61.1% free throw shooter throughout these qualifying campaigns for Yanin Musa. As the drums play on here. And then the Skenderika Hall. This was up to six points. He's two or three from the line. So around his qualifier average, a bit more. Shilb. Alder with the screen. Not used. Lots of dribbling. Now it's a bit of ball movement. Sadoransky holding on to it. It's much better defense by Bosnia Herzegovina. And the three-pointer is long off the top of the backboard. But great rebound by Serena. Shield goes left. Gets a bit of room and he knocks down the shot. Just eases his defender off. Creates the space and knocks it down. A 
And Blake Shelby excels in another area of, of this game. He's at the free throw line. He's 100% during these qualifiers. And that continues, nothing but net. They've just got all the answers at the moment, Czech Republic. Musa hands off. He's, they've got to share the ball. He pulls up for three, and he's in and out. Rebound Alder, playing his role well. Whoops. The crowd wanted a, some sort of travel. Vesely, good inside option. Oh, he's turned it away. He turned away because he turned it over. You're a step. Good job getting back there by Vesely. Straight back on D after his error. Bounce pass, Alder. And... Let's see what they've called. It's a defensive foul there. It's a good effort on the defensive slide and trying to take the charge, but... Stepanovic was not quite set for the charge. Out up. Well, he's missed the one free throw so far. As Andre Balvin gets set to come in for Coach Ginsburg. Must be so happy I've covered the group stages in Eurobasket 2017 where Alder was there, but there was no Shilbel Vasily and it was tough for Coach Ginsburg. They didn't get out of the group. Hungary went went forward to the round of 16 and they're just a different type of animal, this Czech Republic team with Vasily, Shilb and Satoransky all play together. And the role players as Alder continues his struggles at the line in this game. 81.3% free throw shooter coming into the game. Concentration required. And he knocks it down. That's a big, big shot for him. Now, what can Musa do? He's got to just... Yeah, that's one thing they can do, is just keep, re keep recycling the ball. Don't let it stick. They've got to trust each other. Stevanovic, here comes Musa. Now he gets in deep. And now he can finish or get fouled. They've got to move the defence side to side, get them going one way, then he can explode the other way. Then he can get to the basket using his athleticism. Russia at six for eight. Just 19 years old. He was 19 in May. Just over 61% average from the free throw line. All areas of his game have to be of the highest level tonight to give Bosnia a chance and that's a free throw miss but that's an offensive rebound and unfortunately for Bosnia-Herzegovina that missed as well Satoransky he was in two minds he was a touch too close here comes Bosnia and Musa wants it out there and that's a foul by Satoransky and that's his second he may have to take a seat there that's Look at the piercing eyes of Sadoransky saying that's not a foul, that was tough play by Musa, just holding him off with his off arm and Sadoransky may need to take a seat. And he's staying in the game. Bosnia would def Bosnia Herzegovina would definitely like to get. Sadoransky in that third foul, get him out of the game. Long two is just out, and Alder with another rebound. Just always around the ball, always running the lanes, doing all the stuff the coaches love. Alder, Boisic, looking very confident. The Czechs, good spacing. Ball's got stuck a little bit now. Here goes 
Satoransky, left-handed, but Nurkic saying, not in my house. And a lovely one-handed pass to Musa. There's Nurkic, back to Musa. Musa, that's just short again, tough shot. And don't, you, you can't be questioning the refs. Zanen, that was the correct call. It was an emotional player, playing on the edge. Slip, smooth as you like, just knocks it down, gets to his spot, free throw line, the wing, foul line extended. He just finds a way to get open, doesn't play in any rush. And he's already up to seven points, coming off the bench as six man tonight for the Czech Republic. Nurkic too, too strong. Czech Republic playing with real good pace, good defensive job by Balvin there. And Schilp brings it out, screens high, he's just gonna... And a bit of miscommunication. He's trying to get it over the top, setting up as if he was gonna shoot the three. There's Musa on the other side now. Inside to Nurkic! Excuse me, Kukanovic, nice pass. Kukanovic with the finish. Nice catch, jump stop and finish. That was really good pro hop to get to where he wanted to with no dribble then fake. Shill, a little smile on Shill's face in the background there. Let's listen to Coach Ginsburg. It's great to hear coach speaking in English, so... And just trying to force Musa in, into areas he doesn't want to go into. And on, on, on the Bosnia and Herzegovina side, they want to they want to force Satoransky where he doesn't want to go. Turnovers four for Bosnia Herzegovina and six for the Czech Republic. So that's not a bad job by Bosnia Herzegovina. in the turnover department, but just shot selection. We know that Musa wants to attack the basket and the Trek Republic are doing a good job keeping him out. Sadoransky, pull up, free throw line, jump shot, he's just off. And just super job by Chris. Balvin tried, and again, Chris is just totally zoned in on his job. He doesn't have the ball in his hands for much time, but he is diving on any loose ball. When that ball's on the floor, don't rely on anybody else. Just get down there and knock it loose. Amir Gedic to Kikanovic, who's inside. And Vuce Nurkic finds him. Great move by Kikanovic. The two bigs on the floor together causing their own, their own conundrum for the Czech Republic. And Gegic with the foul there as Sadoransky is coming off the screen. So Sadoransky, 78.1%. Free throw shoot up in the NBA this year and 75% free throws against Russia on Thursday night and he just knocks those down effort effortlessly. He was described or he won the ACB's most spectacular player in 2016 and having watched him the last couple of years, I can see why he's got that accolade. 
That's when he was playing for Barcelona. And Nurkic, offensive foul. There was no way through there. It's just things that Nurkic and Musa have got to have got to just learn. They can't just decide, well, I am going to the hoop, regardless of what the defence does. You know, he is a very skilled player. And just maybe the penetrate. And then as the defence comes, kick it out. Or pull up Sadaransky. Good defence by Gedic. And an offensive foul. They just need to move the ball, need to recycle it. It's a seven-point lead for the Czech Republic. And with a win tonight, they will qualify for the World Cup Finals in China, which starts on the 31st of August next year. Atic. Nice pass. What a pass inside to Kukanovic, who's had a really big impact since he's come in. That's a wonderful one-handed round-arm pass. The coach, Repesa, will appreciate that. Satoransky just can't get anything to fall. Atic. Double team, Kaganovic, who can he find? Nice kick out again. And now Bosnia Herzegovina starting to change the angles inside, outside, and that results with Almir Hasandic for three, and it's timeout here in Sarajevo. Simple but effective basketball from the Bosnia Herzegovina team. Coach Repesa just so emotional and his voice breaking up there as he must be really pleased with the response of Bosnia Herzegovina with Musa on the bench. You know, Gegic has come in. Really impressive. But 20 years old, 6 7 playing for Partizan KK. As the crowd are intrigued by this matchup and willing their heroes from Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Czech Republic, as we've seen, there's Czech Republic supporters in here tonight and Gegic. Just turned around by the more experienced Sadaransky there. And with Bosnia Herzegovina in foul trouble. Team fouls. Saransky just struggling with his shooting form. Fessel is foul. And Kukanovic keeping Bosnia Herzegovina in touch. Pass, 
This is a second good pressure. Rhys Bercic breaks, gets over the timeline. Inside, Balvin, Bercic going left, still left, balls loose. Good hands there, Nur Nurkic was close at hand. Let's just see who got the hand, good hands by Edin Atic, just helping, he, helping his big man there. Nice pass inside, and Balvin has to foul Nurkic. They'll go back to the line for two shots. That's right across his arm there. Nurkic misses the first. And the second, they've got to make these free throws. Sataransky just waits, floats up, is in and out. Vasily has his hand on it. And that could be, that could be the third foul for Sataransky. He was running back down the court. It's a massive moment in the game. Sataransky will be going on to three fouls. It was a good fight by Vesely, but there wasn't much in that. And the noise here in Sarajevo increases once again. Nurkic, seven rebounds already. He's heading for another double-double. That's been knocked out, but they get the offensive rebound. Gegic, wonderful play! Showing why he was voted onto the first team all Euro camp in 2017. Oh, now Czech Republic have lost it. Bosnia and Herzegovina can take the lead. Just all of a sudden, a surge of energy, and we're finding a new hero. A new player is growing up again before our eyes, and he's right there, number nine. Have they got a three-pronged superstars here at Bosnia-Herzegovina in the senior team? Moose is getting a lot of rest. The shot's up and is good, just in time to silence the crowd. And it's that man again, Jaromir Boasic, carrying on his three-point heroics just when his country needed him. What a great surge by Bosnia and Herzegovina, just what they needed, what the crowd needed. Let's see how they respond to that riposte by the Czechs. Kukanovic. Hands off, step back. It's just long. Offensive rebound is loose. And it's straight back into the hands of the Bosnian Herzegovina team. But they almost give it back again. Atic with the attempted over the head over the top pass and they do turn it over much to the displeasure of the Sarajevo crowd and I think they've got that right proven out Schilb in I think they just want a calming influence on the floor and 
Shield just plays the game at a very re relaxed tempo. Always got his head up. Back into Vesely, squares up, short with a shot. And wonderful move again by Bosnia and Herzegovina, Edin Atic. And Czech Republic can hold for the final shot of the half. Time's running down, Vasily left-handed, misses. Shot clock running down, shots up, and it hits the backboard. But a great first half and a great last few minutes for Bosnia and Herzegovina, who are right back in this game. And the crowd know it, the crowd are loving it. It's FIBA World Cup qualification action at its very best. Bosnia Herzegovina 37, Czech Republic 38 at half time. And here's some of the stats. Let's pick out what you will. Bosnia Herzegovina only 14% from three, which is really hurting them. 25 rebounds for the Czech Republic, eight assists to five, five steals from Bosnia Herzegovina. So they tip on D. Nine turnovers for the Czechs, six for Bosnia Herzegovina. And Satoransky is in foul trouble, which is the big, the big news, or the big plus for Bosnia Herzegovina. So this was the start of the game. It was very close to start. Nice job by Kukanovic. And then the role players, I mean, Cruz has got a start tonight, but he knows his role. And stepping out to the three is maybe not something he always does, but that was just perfect scenario for that. And then Musa. And then Sadoransky, the other superstar guard, this time for Czech Republic. But we're going to leave you with highlights. And while we do, I do recommend you Download the mobile app for the FIBA World Cup qualifiers. Keep up to date with all the stats, the games, interviews and highlights. And also get involved with hashtag this is my house. And you can log on as Shilb, just that beautiful screen there from Balvin, but he just uses it perfectly. And livebasketball.tv is where all the action is for all the World Cup qualifiers. We'll leave you. Just for a few minutes, don't go anywhere. Bosnia Herzegovina and Czech Republic second half coming up.
Welcome back to Bosnia and Herzegovina. This matchup between Bosnia and Herzegovina and Czech Republic at the Zivorna Mirza Delabasic Hall, or was also known as Skendarika Hall. Crowd have been treated to an excellent first half, 38 37. Czech Republic threatened to really pull away, but the Bosnian and Herzegovina team have really come back behind some good team play. Musa, Jana Musa has had a decent first half, his eight points, three assists. But when he went out to, uh, towards the end of that second quarter, the team really played together well, shared the basketball and knocked down some big shots. So are we in for another thriller in this second half, which is being served up on a regular basis in the World, this World Cup qualifying window? Greece have had an unbelievable win in Georgia earlier today. And of course, in the first games of these windows, there was massive wins for the Czech Republic and Bulgaria and Ukraine against Spain also. So there's Coach Repesa giving his final instructions. The crowd are going to have to be the sixth man here for Bosnia Herzegovina. Coach Ginsberg just having a final word with Patrick Alda. They've just got to get into it, make as much noise as they can, cheer the guys on. There's going to be ups and downs and bumps on the road, but they are desperately in need of a win. Otherwise, could be the end of the road for their World Cup qualification hopes if they lose this. And of course, if Bosnia and Herzegovina lose and the Czech Republic win, they will have qualified for the FIBA World Cup 2019. We're with you all the way, all the way through to China, where 32 teams will, would by then have qualified and the World Cup will be underway in eight venues for the eight groups of four, including China, the host, of course. Anyway, that's a long way off. It's a long way off for Bosnia-Herzegovina at the minute. Not too far away for the Czech Republic if they carry on playing well and get a win here. That's good defence. Nurkic right in the thick of it. And Zani Musa is in the game. If he could just be a facilitator. We saw earlier Schleb, now Alexi Sved for Russia. He almost gets the best out of his team and himself when he's just a facilitator. Penetrating kick by Atic. But as I said earlier in commentary, that'd be something Musa will learn. And then he becomes really valuable to the teams he plays on. Well, Coach Repesa has come at the time of the calling from Bosnia Herzegovina. He'd be desperate to get a positive result here today. Musa having to bring it out, just lost his foot slightly. And a great rebound by Nurkic. That's what they need. Again, Musa just missing that three point shot. But Nurkic with good position inside. And Kukanovic putting pressure on that interior Czech Republic defence. And Vasily with the foul. So Nurkic, he was three of seven, now four of eight. 50% from the line. Oh. 
That's much better. And now, Bosnian Herzegovina for the first time take the lead here in Sarajevo. And you can hear the crowd. You know what they're thinking. And Satoransky somehow kept possession. Back to Alda, Vasily. Nurkic just blocks it. Vasily's not having his way with the number zero for Bosnia Herzegovina. Shots up, just off. A great hustle by Vasily and Nurkic. Oh my golly! Nurkic off balance, falling out of bounds. Great hustle initially by both teams, but Nurkic gets it. He's falling out of bounds as he makes that shot. That's extraordinary athleticism, concentration. And the fight back is truly on. And yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about, folks. Bosnia Herzegovina fans are loving this now. They've had to withstand some real pressure from this very talented Czech Republic outfit, but now they have a four-point lead behind Yusuf Nurkic's top play and making the free throws. And he's now up to six out of ten, and there is some issues now for the Czech Republic. Patrick Howard getting tangled up on the screen action. And the Bosnia and Herzegovina team, the energy, the surges, the one they had at the end of the last quarter, it's happening again now. And Musa doing it on the defensive end. That's what he thinks about it. Great effort, great energy from both teams here. And that's a, now it's an offensive foul for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Coach Repesa, not for the first time, speaking to the officials, very intense. So many screens and high screens. So turnover followed by turnover. Offensive foul followed by offensive foul. And Satoransky with so much contact. Playing defense without fouling. Lazic versus Satoransky. Stepping out. Haruben. Haruben for three. He's good. Excellent concentration on that three point shot. Just what the Czech Republic needed. Deficit down to one for them. Musa. Nice pass. And that's offensive foul, I think. Nurkic off balance again. And we're going to have to take our breath here. We'll catch our breath. It is timeout. In the Skenderika Hall in Sarajevo. That is great defence by Satoransky. And that's brave defence. He's on three fouls. But it's timeout. Let's listen in to the Bosnia Herzegovina timeout. Ikan je preuzeo Ruban. Sada Ruban igra. Preuzmi Juka. Ikan ide na visoku. Znači, nemojte da dođe da šut Ruban lagano. Imamo dva faula, oni su bonusu. Bravo Musa, snažno kroz zlo. I u redu. Igraš sada. Ok, ok. Svi redi, we might, we might. Go to zone. Now, so now listen, when he makes the pick, okay, on motion on one, okay, try to attack to take Ikanovic and then shoot it, okay? okay. It's interesting, last couple of comments there by Coach Gin Ginsberg. He says we may go to zone, they may mix it up a little bit. Try and take the sting out of this Bosnia and Herzegovina comeback. The young players making a name for themselves on the world stage. And there's one of them, Tomas Satoransky.
High screen. Satoransky makes that one. He's missed a few tonight, but nails a massive shot as the Czech Republic are back in the lead. On the road in Sarajevo. Musa versus Huben. Nurkic shots up. It's just short, but good rebound. Kikanovic. Excellent. Excellent offensive rebound. <laughs> Using his extra height. His extra size against Mike Paterka, who's just checked in. <laughs> Six foot eleven, K Kukanovic. Such a handful on that offensive glass. He misses the rebound, a great rebound on the offensive glass. Again, not once, not twice, and Kuganovic gets his own offensive rebound the second time round off the missed three throw. That's great intense show by Bosnia Herzegovina. Kick out of it, 64% from the free throw line. So, two point lead for Bosnia Herzegovina. Desperate for a win. Haruben. Andre Powell, he sends him away. Haruben pulls up for three. It's good! Smooth as you like. My check, Ruben. He has hit a couple of big shots. Was one of their main players at Eurobasket 2017. Musa gets past him. Kaganovic. Atic. Kaganovic. Time running down. Just like 4.4 seconds remaining on the shot clock. And Musa will inbound. Watch for him to be the passer and maybe just get to a spot to get it straight back. Oh, it's over to Nurkic. Oh, and Kukanovic with some, a dramatic move underneath the basket there. And he got the foul. He got the foul he wanted. Uh, that's the correct call. It's Paterka. They got completely the wrong side of Kukanovic and couldn't recover. And Balvin back in. They do need some extra size to try and deal with Kukanovic and Miric. Nurkic. And he's just off there, Kukanovic with the free throw. And a Ruben. Screen by Cruz, he's back in the game. Balvin and Sadoransky and Schill. Don't forget Sadoransky on three fouls, so he needs to play in complete control. Schill. And he steps through, that's a tough shot. Ball's loose, tipped off the backboard, and Schill gets the offensive rebound. Oh, and he just waits. That is so clever. So, so clever and smart. Fake the pass over the top, wait for the defence to step off him. And it was a 10-foot, 12-foot set shot along the baseline. Musa, high screen from Kikanovic. Musa getting in deep. That's really good from Yana Musa. He's going to go to the basket, get all the way there. And just create the angles, and that's a, that's a cheap foul by Atic. Puts his hand up straight away. And 
come Hasandic and out goes Atic. So into Shield. Oh, nice spin. High level, high IQ move. And Shield just doing a great job. Nurkic, Nurkic in the open floor. What a pass to Kakanovic. The twin towers of Bosnia and Herzegovina working together in perfect harmony right there. Shield is just in the zone. What's he going to do now? Step back three. It's good. It's the Shield show from Sarajevo. He's even thinking, what's going on? I am totally at ease in the zone. Just brilliant play by Blake Shield. Represented his country in so many big tournaments, the Eurobaskets. Certainly in 2015 when they had their best finish in seventh. And now he has just come in and three big time shots, all different in their own way. Let's see what he does now, just keep feeding him the ball. Because that basket must seem, look at him now, he's, he's just getting space. Nurkic is saying, no way. There's no way you're going to score, but it's, tough. it's a tough guard for Nurkic to come out. Nurkic on to three fouls now. And this could be a chance for Czech Republic to, to really extend their lead. Bosnia Herzegovina took the lead temporarily. And now on behind Shields, fantastic play. Seven points in a matter of about a minute. And these free throws now. The Czech Republic are surging forward again. And they're chanting his name, I think, Blake Sherp. <laughs> Musa, guarded by Ruben. Stepanovic with the screen and the screen again. But they're still where they started. But Musa's free. And he's just got to knock down those shots if he can. There's something he's got to add to his game. Stepanovic, cross-court pass. Lazic. Kukanovic off the side of the bat ball. And Hasandic. Satoransky pushing forward, five-point lead. Out to Schill, and why not? Playing with great rhythm. Chris, he nearly kept his footing. Just couldn't quite finish at the basket. Hard work by Chris. They're trying to keep Musa at bay. He needs to make this shot though, and he does. He's getting the looks, and now it's game on again. Two-point lead, and that's a good sign for Bosnia Herzegovina that Musa's now knocked down a three. Might bring the defense out slightly. Sadoransky pulls up for the two just long. Kakanovic with another rebound. Musa. Open. Only shoot if you're open, unless the shot clock's running right down. Musa, he's sizing up, Chris. Shots up from the corner. It's good! Alexander Lazic, scorer, becomes facilitator. And Musa's starting to really influence this game. Shib, good pass. Penetrate, kick, all the way back to Shield. What a no-look pass. I think Stepanovic was maybe too far under the hoop. Let's let's see on the replay. And they've got to be careful what they say. There's the shot. And then he's got the presence of mind to find the open player this time. And let's share the ball and share responsibility. And Bosnia Herzegovina back in the lead. Mm -hmm. 
Nice job by Chris. He's had a really efficient game. Seven points. Three or four from the free throw line, and Mus has another turnover. Can the Czech Republic make Bosnia Herzegovina pay? Shots up from the far corner, just long. Ball's loose. And Milosevic is in the game for Bosnia Herzegovina, and Musa has got to take care of this ball. High screen, hesitation, kicks out. To Lazic, back to Musa. Oh, he needs to look at the basket, and he didn't. And when he did look and put the shot up, Andres Balvin just blocked it right in his face. Satoransky just coming down to a minute remaining. Ruben, still a Ruben. And it's off the leg of Pavel Pumpra. So one minute remaining in the third, and this game is delicately poised. And Musa, who had nine assists on Thursday night. Beautiful move. And Milosevic off the bench. Now coming to the party. And right on cue, it's a, a positive assist. And a good finish. Out to the corner. Nice pass inside. A swarming defence. They get the steal. And in the open floor, it's a throwdown for Edin Atic. He comes down the floor after that deflection and stole the ball. And he, a nice dunk to finish for Ruben to silence the crowd yet again. And the reaction of Almir Hassan, Hassanic just says it all. Ruben is in a zone as well. First it was Shib, and now Ruben. Just when Bosnia Herzegovina make a run, back come the Czechs. And their supporters are loving it there, behind that basket. It's the end of the third quarter. It's tied at 60. There's some great highlights from, from that third quarter. It's just gone back and forth and no team giving an inch. And that was really highlighted by that, by that play there from Atic. And then right at the end of the third quarter.
We're back underway. The turnaround jump shot, that's tough there for Milosovic. But that man again, Josef Nurkic, just causing mayhem in amongst that Czech Republic defence. And that, let's just see what happens here. Yeah, that's, he had his hands up straight, but they were slightly forward as well. And Balvin on four fouls has to leave the game. And Yusef Nurkic. Now he's got his free throw shooting where it needs to be. That's that second one was just a bit flat. Good pressure from Bosnia Herzegovina. Oh, slam dunk! Sadoransky going in behind. Superb pass from Haruban, who's just having a magical game, and Sadoransky throws it down. Nurkic trying to get inside position against Vasily. What a great, what a great matchup that is, and brilliant defense. Haruban this time. Same result, Haruban, this is. Sadoransky cleans up. Just so dynamic. Haruban, Sadoransky, Shilp, Vesely. And they inspire the other players. Boacic playing at a high level. Chris playing at a high level. Guys coming in, just doing a job. And look at this crowd from the Czech Republic. They want to witness what could possibly happen at the end of this game with a win for Czech Republic. Then booking a ticket to China and the 2019 World Cup. And Coach Ginsberg must be very proud of his group. And the way they, on the road here in a really loud, Really loud atmosphere, Kikanovic, what a move. In fact, my, excuse me, Mas, Milosevic, spinning baseline. And now he's playing defense and shield. Sadoransky, good screen by Vesely. But they can't get it to finish. And good job by Gegic, who wanted, to, wanted the ball off that outlet. At, at it. Nurkic is knocked away from him, but he can handle the ball comfortably out there. Great pass. They just can't quite get the finish. Blocked. Ruben with the block. So physical. That's Milosevic in there. And Ruben shaped as if he was going to shoot it. You can see Vessel's face. <laughs> Knowing how close that was, maybe just needed that. Yeah, that was down by his waist. That needed to be up, so he could just catch that in the flow. Sadoransky, catch and shoot. Haruben, he is on fire. No hesitation. Just loves to catch off the curl. Perfect execution, and the Czech Republic. Standing firm here in Sarajevo. They lead by three. Nurkic. It's a tough ass, Vesely. And Vesely is fouled out on four fouls. Yeah. Now, this could be huge in the context of the game now. Vesely fouls out only with four points, four rebounds, no free throws, two turnovers, not his finest night. So it's going to be, have to, it's going to be down to one of the other bigs. 
likes a Balvin and Chris. Patrick Alder coming in, they're just going to all have to chip in to try and deal with the likes of Kaganovic and Nurkic inside. And is this the moment with Nurkic on the free throw line that Bosnia Herzegovina can make another charge? A wonderful rebound by Gegic. Great energy, Nurkic in the post. He's got 12 rebounds, 16 points, already a double-double, and that's just in and out. Great hustle by Chris, right in the thick of it, but Bosnia get it back and give it away. Haruban, double-teamed, Sar Sadoransky. Wonderful heads-up play between the number seven and eight in blue. Sadoransky running straight to the front of the hoop. And the Czechs lead by four. Musa again has got to take care of the ball. Such a young age, but a lot of responsibility for the young man. Gegic back to Musa, wide open. There's a bit of, bit of moisture on the floor, possibly. Ship. Chris. Setting the screen, not required. Maruven. It's been a real hero. Shots up. And that is rebounded once again by Nurkic. 13 rebounds, 16 points, two assists. But he's on four fouls. So he's got to be careful. A turnover again. And it's, it's going to kill him. And look, they're not getting back. And so much experience and calmness in this Czech Republic team. If it's not Rubens going to get you, that man will. Blake Shield, it's time out here in Sarajevo. And they're so close, the Czech Republic. To finalising their qualification. It's a Bosnia and Herzegovina timeout, and they've got to start again. Six down now, two possession game. But as I said at the start, they have a young team. You've got Gegic at 20, Musa at 19. They're on the court together, and the coaches... It has confidence in them. He's saying, go out, express yourself. But they, they're going to make mistakes as young players. Adic also doing well for Bosnia Herzegovina. Nine points, seven rebounds. And the crowd just stunned. Again, the home supporters. But not those. They are. I don't think they've stopped singing the whole game. It's brought a wonderful atmosphere. To Sarajevo. And the Skenderika Hall. Wonderful venue for basketball. So can Bosnia go again? They're going to have to find a hero in the next five minutes or so to come back into this game. Lazic fouled. And here go to the line for two shots. knocks down the first. And the second. And now some pressure up the floor, but he slipped. And Shield has the ball.
Sadaransky with the handoff, and it's a foul. On Lazic. Blake Shield. And Ruben just catch and shoot. And of course, this time he misses, but the defense feel they've got to be glued to him because he's not been missing of late and they commit the foul and Ruben will potentially get his points from the free throw line this time got to let the offensive player or the shooter come back down into his cylinder onto the floor Ruben. Hundred percent for the free throw line coming into today. And the way he's shooting, he's just not you don't see him missing. A humorous moment there between referee and player. These games have been played, such good spirit, it's tough, it's international basketball, but played with full respect. For officials, your opposition, I like. So Ruben just continues to pour the ball into the basket. And now Bosnia-Herzegovina have got to pull it back once again. Hand off, screen action. And he gets fouled, it's just, he's very brave player. That is a crowded key he's going into, taking off into. And he got bailed out with the foul. It's, yeah, I mean, Huben is turned around. Andre Balvin, take your pick. He certainly puts pressure on the defences. If he can develop that three-point shot consistency, consistently, like the likes of Alexi Sved, who we saw earlier, then he could be a dominant player for many years to come on the offensive end. It's a five-point game and lots of pressure up the floor now from Bosnia and Herzegovina. A Ruben to shoot. Sataransky. Directing traffic. Shub, you can't leave him open that far. Out! But he misses, but they get the offensive rebound. And again, he just plays at his own pace, Shub. Sataransky. Shot clock running down. Fake step through. And now Musa has got to be calm. He's got to be calm. Bite your lip. It was just, it was just better offense. He was okay until that point. He's, he's left his feet. Sataransky could feel he was going to do that, so he just up faked and just went up into the shooting motion. And uh, fortunately for Yarnin Musa, it was a foul. And it's good that the referees are speaking to the young man and just taking the time to explain. But that's why they're, that's why they're top referees. And Sataransky goes around his business, extending the Czech Republic lead. Five of six tonight now, 83% and just over. I'll say 78.1% during the NBA season. So he's just he's a very good free throw shooter. Musa nearly losing control. Nurkic is being played tough inside. And that's Musa gets it back. Good job by him. Kukanovic then dribbles it off his foot. Great job by Martin Chris. 
He's just done all the little things, just when his country needed him. Moving his feet, hands up, one hand on the arm bar on the body, one hand up. And a desired result for Czech Republic. They now lead by seven, edging ever so closer to the World Cup finals in China, which we will be bringing you every game from next August. Sadoransky just left alone, misses that. Atic. Milosevic, nice spin. And one, I don't think that'll be and one. Just too much time between the whistle and the and the uh, the score. So nice, really nice move though. Well, I don't know. Depends when they're going to call the foul. And it's time out here at the Skenderika Hall. And at the moment, Czech Republic are in control, and they're heading for two wins in this World Cup qualifying window. And the look, the looks on the crowds of the on the crowd here, the home supporters, they are worried, they are concerned that their chances of getting to the World Cup qualifiers or through the World Cup qualifiers and to China, because it's only the top three in each group that qualify at the moment. They're in sixth. There's four groups of six teams in the European zone. It's 24 teams at the moment trying to qualify. Only 12 out of that 24 will get there. And pressure up the floor as they have to now, Bosnia Herzegovina. Sadoransky, Shub, Harubin, the three playmakers on the floor together. Rebound in good pressure by Milosevic, but Harubin's going to get wonderful block. Not in my house, and I think he told Harubin as he went past Nurkic. And again, Musa, that maybe he should have just carried on. Wasn't quite the spacing for that pass. And great transition defense by the Czech Republic snuffing out that attempt by Bosnia Herzegovina. Three minutes remaining. Shirby, is he going to put a dagger in the Bosnia Herzegovina hearts? No, they're still alive. Two possession game. Musa, can he get a look? Can he get a good look? That's a foul. Atic. This really strong move by Atic, and now Balvin. He's fouled out, so that's two bigs gone for the Czech Republic. There's still a chance for Bosnia. Edin Atic, 33.3% free throw shooter coming into this game. He needs to be 100% for his team right now. I said it at the start, and whether it's in minute one or minute 40, or beyond, if, uh, if overtime, free throws are just massive, and you just have to take thousands and thousands in pressure situations. And that's a big, big effort by Atic to make that second one. 
But of course, if he makes two, it's a one possession game. They have to keep fighting to the end. And as we've already seen with Greece today, they pulled off an amazing victory right at the very last second. Inside, Patrick Alder now in. Chris. Unbelievable hustle by both teams. And now... Yusef Nurkic is pleading with the official to give the call to Bosnia-Herzegovina, but the effort levels. They got Alder and Chris in now as Balvin and Vesely are out. And Bosnia-Herzegovina desperately want the ball, but it's, they're going to have to go again as Schilp. Schilp with the inbounds. Good job by Musa, but Satoransky has got the big man on him. But great job by Nurkic. He is playing an unbelievable game. 14, 15 rebounds. Unbelievable shot! Facing the wrong way in a crowd. No problem for Yusef Nurkic. What a pass for Milosevic. And he just shoots it over his right shoulder. He's so skilled, so calm, so cool. What a game here in Sarajevo. It's time out. Extraordinary atmosphere here at the Skenderika Hall. What an arena to play in and what a backdrop of noise as we just listen in to coach Jasmine Repesa. If you don't speak Bosnian, it doesn't matter. I think you can tell him he's pleading with his guys. And look at the crowd. The Czech Republic have had their time to cheer their team on and jump and shout and dance. And now it's the home fans. Can they turn this around? Can they make the Czech Republic wait to book their ticket to the dance in China, the World Cup Finals 2019? And Nurkic has got his eye in now, big time. 10 of 16. One point game. FIBA World Cup qualifiers 2019. Musa is on shield. Two stars. And the ball's poked loose. Now Bosnia and Herzegovina, they are going to be so pumped, especially the young man there. They've got to just try and play defense without fouling. Yeah, that's good. Now the help comes. What an excellent bit of play by the two stars from the NBA. Musa, not another offensive foul. And Nurkic, out of control. It's not the first time. He gets the ball. It's not probably not the right time to give it to him. But Musa does. But look who's there. Thomas Satoransky, right place, right time. Nurkic has fouled out. Vessel is fouled out. But for Bosnia and Herzegovina, this is even bigger. Because I think they rely on Nurkic so much. What a fantastic game. But is it going to be in a losing performance? Sit back and watch right here. Sadoransky, a wall of noise and whistles. And Ruben. Is there another twist to this tail? Rubert off the backboard and Patrick Alder rebound. And Chris off the assist from Sadoransky. So calm. They are playing with such 
calmness, and they're so assured at the height of the pressure here in Sarajevo. Musa to tie the game! And no one's gone for that offensive rebound outside. Bosnia just seemed frozen to the spot that they just couldn't get to it. But the Czech Republic, as they've done over this window, have come up with big play after big play. And Blake Shield right in the thick of it yet again. 18 points, perfect from the line. Will that continue? Coach Ginsberg. An amazing game against Russia on Thursday night where Alexei Sved had a chance to win the game from behind the arc, but just hit the front of the rim. And now we've got this thriller in Sarajevo. Is it going to be a super September for the Czech Republic? Or can Bosnian Herzegovina come back yet again? Inside Kukanovic, outside Milosevic. That's it. Good for three. Holy cow, what a game. It's one play after another. Under a minute remaining. Great patience from Kukanovic and the Bosnian Herzegovina team. Shot clock running down, Sadoransky. Still Sadoransky turns, jump hook. Again, just as he did against Russia, making big plays down the stretch. Alder on the floor, Kukanovic fouled. Haruben had to do that to help his teammate out. Alder was on the floor, there's bodies flying everywhere. Just extraordinary action. That time, Musa made a good play. Better spacing for the pass. It's just a game of inches and centimetres between winning the big games and just losing out. And Kanovic, all the eyes of the basketball world on him here. Just can't quite deliver on that one. He's just short on that one as well. It could be heartbreak here for Bosnia-Herzegovina. Musa had to foul and after such a valiant effort, are they going to fall short? That's only Musa's second foul. He's done a great job as a young man of keeping out of foul trouble. Sat on the bench for a long time earlier in the game. Maybe his coach just calming him down. And he came, he's come out and had a wonderful game, but it could possibly be two losses in this window to Finland. And now the resurgent and dangerous Czech Republic on the verge of booking their ticket to China. And Satoransky is excellent. Eight of nine from free throw line and making the big shots and the big plays just when they need it. It's time out here in Sarajevo. Nurkic is fouled out. And it's a six-point lead for the Czech Republic. So interesting listening to Coach Repesa. Clear what they want to try and do. Get some screen action, get two guys to the corner because they need a three points at a six point game. And that just about sums up the, the feeling of the Bosnian Herzegovina fans. So passionate, such a passionate part of the world for basketball. But this is a superb performance by the Czech Republic. No two ways about that. Vesely is fouled out. 
and they're still getting it done because they have such experience and big time players on the floor like Shub, Haruban and Sadaransky. They need to get it in and they have Atic. Atic fakes, shoots, just short, rebound Kukanovic and that's big time moment for Kukanovic. Gets the offensive rebound, working so hard and they could get a three point play the old fashioned way. Saturansky could deal with, with him and that's a great finish, catch straight up before any Czech Republic player can deal with him. But he's missed his last two. Can he come up big? He's three of eight, three of eight, 37.5% from the line. He needs to make this to get up to 50% and make it a one possession game for Bosnia and Herzegovina. And that is clutch. And it's another timeout here in Sarajevo. It's a great three point play by Kaganovic. Bosnia Herzegovina, they're not going away. And the way that these FIBA World Cup qualifiers have been going. And the crowd are colourful and emotional. And let's listen to Coach Ginsberg. Calm as you like. Time out. And the crowd waits expectantly, only takes, they're looking very pensive and concerned, but it will only take a bit of inspiration on defence now from Bosnia Herzegovina to get this place rocking once again as the crowd and the noise and the music gets louder and louder and louder. Coach Rupesa wants to get on court, I think, himself. So Ruben with the inbound, Sadaransky, it's the decoy, Alda, Shib, oh, wide open, Martin Kriz, what a wonderful execution on the half court, out of bounds play, Kikanovic is short, and that is about it, I think. That was perfect execution by Coach Ginsberg and then, Co and then the Czech Republic team. Brilliantly drawn up and fantastically executed. And that is the end of the game. Bosnia Herzegovina 80, Czech Republic 85. The Czech Republic have qualified for the 2019 World Cup in China. Bosnia Herzegovina 80, Czech Republic 85. And as the teams congratulate each other on a fantastic game of international basketball. And the Czech Republic know that they're on their way to the biggest dance, the biggest show in world basketball is the World Cup. As for Bosnia Herzegovina, you've got to feel for them. Great scenes here on the court for the team in blue. The Czech Republic in Eurobasket 2017, they didn't make it through the group stages. With Vesely back, with Shiv back, Sataransky in top form, Huben, Chris, they are through and that traveling band of happy supporters know that they've booked their ticket to the World Cup. That's a fantastic performance over both games, beating Finland at home and now traveling to Bosnia and to play Bosnia-Herzegovina. That's just a professional,
performance by Czech Republic. You've got to feel for Bosnia Herzegovina. They've got a young team relying on young stars to carry them, and they they kept going right to the end. But a superb out of bounds play from the Czech Republic put it beyond all doubt. Just wonderful, wonderful game of basketball. I hope you've enjoyed it as Bosnia Herzegovina leave the floor. They will be downhearted, crestfallen. They had to come back in this game four or five times and they got it all the way back. They tied the game. They got it back to a one possession game with only seconds to go, but brilliant timeout by Coach Ginsberg and perfect execution on that out-of-bounds play. As we enjoy the highlights, it was a Ruben to the alley oop to Sataransky. Mm -hmm. Sataransky, and then he Sataransky got the offensive rebounds and highlight plays and tough plays. And that's a super pass and just shipped so calm and so cool. He's been excellent. Heroes wherever you see. Ruben with 17 points. 100% from the three-point line. Martin Kriz, 12 points. Sadoransky, 22. Blake Shrib, 20 points. 100% from the free throw line. They shot the ball excellently and made the big plays at the big moments. They were 20 out of 24 from the free throw line. Just well-deserved and deserved victors. But as we leave you with the highlights from Sarajevo, I hope you've enjoyed the game. Czech Republic have booked their ticket to the World Cup Finals in China. Bosnia Herzegovina have got a long hill, a long road ahead of them to try and drag themselves up the table in Group K. But they will live to fight another day. We'll see you again for World Cup qualifiers. Certainly Czech Republic and Bosnia Herzegovina will in November, but the don't go anywhere. There's more games coming up on livebasketball.tv. Don't forget to download the app for all the information you need, the World Cup qualifying app, and get involved. This is my house on social media. I'll leave you with the highlights. Hope you've enjoyed the game. So long.